another tarot. This is for the sign of Ophiuchus. So while I was channeling with spirit, the message that I got for you guys was get ready. Are you ready? So I don't know if you guys are preparing for something or you're getting ready for something, but it seems like something is coming your way. So let's see what message of spirit has. So we're starting off with the third eye chakra. And new beginnings. So right off the bat, I'm like already seeing that some of you may have an increased sense of knowing, um, increased sense of intuition with the third eye chakra here because there's definitely something new coming in for you guys. So some of you, you could feel this coming in. You could feel the energy of something new coming in, but you may not know what it is. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So I feel like you guys are going to have like this new um, so sense of awareness, your, in, your confidence may be increasing, and I feel like it may be something with your spiritual development. You know, maybe some of you guys are um, working with your chakras. <laughs> maybe some of you guys are working with your chakras. Um, maybe some of you guys are experiencing your third eye opening. But I'm going to go ahead and grab some tarot cards and see what the messages have to say for you guys. So Spirit, what message is for Ophiuchus? Alright, so that card wanted to pop out. So we're starting out with the Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. So this is about give and take. This is about some type of generosity. You know, um, you guys could have some generosity come into your life. Maybe someone's gonna offer you some type of opportunity, some type of financial gains, maybe some type of uh, valuable advice, maybe regarding some type of investments, uh, regarding seeds that you have planted here with the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be holding on financially, maybe um, sticking to a budget. You know, um, Spirit just said rainy day money, just putting putting money away, <laughs> putting money away uh, to make sure that you have more than enough uh, for your journey. You guys are reaching some type of completion here with the Ten of Swords, and this may have not been an easy path, you know, but it's it's almost over and you're, you're reaching that completion. Once you reach that completion, you're going to move into this energy of the new beginning. Look at that. And you're going to feel like a whole new person. You're going to feel rebirth. You're going to feel renewed, right? So this is something to really get excited about. So let me get some clarifying cards. So you're starting out with your five of pentacles. You know, this is about feeling lack. This is about feeling that you don't have enough you know, whatever it is, you don't have enough money, you don't have enough emotional support, there's something that you're lacking. For some of you, this could be in regards to your self-esteem, you know, maybe you don't feel confident um, in a certain um, arena in your life. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this Five of of pinnacles is you know that that perspective of of lack may not even be your reality because you you definitely have something beautiful coming in with the ace of pinnacles this is a new beginning right here and for some of you you have this knowing and you see it for others of you you don't see it right if she were to look up she would see the pinnacles on above her so this is about having faith 
This is about tapping into that faith that everything is going to be okay. You know, everything coming into your life is flowing into your life with ease and for your highest good. Um, for some of you, if you're dealing with any type of self-esteem issues or any type of lack, I think affirmations would be very, very helpful. You have the King of Pentacles. This could be your energy or someone coming in to help you. The King of Pentacles is someone that's very supportive, very good with their money, very uh, business savvy, very wise. So like I said, you could get messages from this person. And with the Knight of Swords coming in here, whatever these messages are, they're going to be sudden. They're going to be quick. And I feel like they're going to change your direction. And they're going to put you on this path of this creative energy with the Empress here. The Empress has a very fertile energy. So when this person comes in or this energy, I feel like you're going to, Spirit just said options. You're going to have options. I feel like this creative energy is going to allow you to balance your time better, your resources better, and it's going to spark some type of passion inside of you with queen of wands here so back to the channel messages get ready are you ready you have a new beginning coming right so it's really important that you check in with yourself right check in with yourself your self-esteem your self-care are you taking care of yourself you know give and take are you filling your cup? Because your cup needs to be full in order for this opportunity to come in and you to receive it at your highest vibration. Queen of Wands, you have the King of Wands. Now, these are two fire signs. Now, this could represent your energy or someone around you. So fire signs are Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. If not, this could just be someone around you or represents the energy. But I feel like you're with all these court cards, you're going to have people coming in helping you. I feel like for some of these people, these are people in your professional life. Some of these people um, are friends and family. And some of these people are people that are on the other side. So spirit, uh, past loved ones uh, coming in and assisting you from the other side. And I feel like whatever you're, you're getting or you're gaining, that's the word they want me to use. I feel like it's really going to provide you with more balance. You know, if whatever you're lacking, if you're lacking finances, know that that is coming in. Speak those things to existence. Look at this. Seven of Pentacles, he has his hands over the seeds that he's planted. He's putting intentions into those seeds. Are you taking care of your seeds? Are you watering your seeds? Are you setting your intentions? Intention is, is invisible, right? But it's something that you could feel deep at your core, deep at your soul. So what I would suggest is, which I like to do in like my daily routines, at least I try to, is in the mornings, I really like to set my intentions. You can either do it in the morning or the at, in the evening as well. Set your intentions. You know, what do you want to achieve for the day? What, what do you want to come into your life, right? For your highest good, just speak those affirmations into your life. So I'm going to get you guys some tea leaf cards. But this is like really exciting. You guys have something new coming in here and Spirit is saying... You know, be prepared, get ready. Yeah, you guys are going to have something come in and it's going to provide you with a solid foundation. It says success with effort, of course. You have shield here. You will need to defend yourself. With this card here, I'm getting more so that you are going to be spiritually protected, right? Um, for a few of you, any type of self-esteem issues, make sure you're putting up healthy boundaries. Make sure no one is manipulating you or taking advantage of you. You have a dark man here. So dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair may be uh, significant to your situation. You have ladder, so climbing towards success. Of course, you guys are moving on up, however that looks in your life. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, situation with the law. You have involvement with the law here. But if you are, anything that you're lacking, remember, you're going to have some help come in. You're going to have some assistance come in. 
You have heart, love, deep affection, and caring. I feel like that energy is surrounding you guys. All right, last card, bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. Guys, speak it into existence. I see this coming in for you guys. I feel it. I'm Ophiuchus myself, and you know, these readings are for me as well. So we have something beautiful coming in. It's going to be something new, and it's definitely going to be something that provides us with something financial or valuable in nature. So I'm so excited for us. So please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Hope you guys take care, be safe, and until next time.